Hi, I'm Zirfall, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Treasure of Rudra. Last time we came in here and we fought Opus, is that his name? Opsis. The world below is still in danger. Make haste! So we must make haste to the world below. But first we have to go talk to his friend in the other palace. Now I don't think there's anything else we can do here until the time changes by two days, I believe. Let's, um, those treasures there eventually we'll be able to get when this clock changes by two hours. I think it's at 10 right now. So, let's head back to the space train and head off to the next island. Let's see if we can take these guys out. I think they have a habit of, yeah, running off. Oh, you missed. Come on, Tyr. Okay, surely he can't run now that he's, uh... No. Oh, he went first. Oh, well. So, like I said, we're gonna go back to the space train because we're all done with this town. And those guys' voices are hard enough on my throat that I'm not going to talk to them right now. All aboard! The train will be departing shortly. Next stop, the Temple of Dedanus. Off we go. Oh. That was quite a short trip. I barely had a chance to sip my tea. See who's over here. What do they have to say? The interior decoration leaves a little to be desired, yes? Can you sense the power resting within this temple? It is magnificent. He likes that power a little too much. It should be a smooth ride from here on out. I'm traveling for business purposes. Would you care to look at my wares? Yes, we would. Let's see what he's got. A new sword for Scion. Called the Dion. Perhaps it's... Uh, and he can't use a shield most of the time anyways. Any other ups? Nope. Let's equip it real quick. So the Gram is already being replaced. It was a plot sword that was super important. And yet this one is way, way more powerful. Pardon me. So, let's use it. Much obliged. This is the Temple of the Dinos. It seems deserted. So it does. So it does. Would you like me to tend to your wounds? Please do. Then listen to the sound of my voice. Oh. Too bad Ohm isn't a mantra. Scion, we've already we're already behind schedule. We've already? That's not very good English. Scion, we've already behind schedule thanks to that little run-in with Badra. I'd really appreciate it if you didn't take too long here. Understood. We'll keep it short. That's what she said. So we're already at the Temple of Spirit. Let's head right inside and see what's going on. Ooh, buttons. Sacrifice yourself to heal your friends. That sounds fun. Something is written on the bottom of the chest. Exia. There's a missing letter. We'll figure that out at the next save point. Exia. We've got some new bad guys here. Now I have come into this building off screen and I discovered a couple things. First of all, these guys are... Um, I've changed my mantras around a bit here. You see I've got some, some dark mantras. These guys are of the dark variety of monsters, so we'll throw out a couple of our newest creations. What are these all? Oh, I forgot I have all these things. I'll have to remember that. 
or later. For sure. Anyways. Um, for now, though, we are just going... What's the trick do? Is that the one that fails all the time? Probably shouldn't have used it. Anyways, look at that go. His wasn't as strong, it was the weaker version. But here they go. Oh, is that stealing my hit points? Stealing my mana! Crap! I should have wrote that one down. My trick worked. Anyways, we'll just beat the crap out of them now. I may have to review this video later and learn what that mantra was. Or someone could comment right now with a timestamp saying this is what that mantra was and I can copy it. Hint, hint. Another door, another floor. It's, uh, we can't go down that way. Oh, and another type of enemy. Alright, mantra. Let's, uh heal a little bit. And yeah, the problem with uh, this dark spell is that it's too long for us to put two uh, solace. That doesn't do bad damage. It costs a little... So yeah, they're all they're all about the the light magic in this uh, in this zone. But luckily, we're all about the dark magic, so we are causing quite a bit of damage. Uh, we're gonna heal everyone up though, and cast another couple of these. I'm not quite sure how those guys in the back could be a light-based enemy. I mean, they look pretty, uh, like pretty sketch guys. But they're all dead. Got a little bit of experience, and one, two, three, we're goo. So, this is about as far as I came, uh, off-screen. And what I've discovered is that this one... Reacts to the Jane, and you get a great mace. That opens the door. Get Gigas Robe, so you can guess who these are probably for. And they give him quite the boost. So Scion, for a moment there, a very fleeting moment, was the most powerful of our characters. But if you look at him now, he's no longer, no longer such. But he's not as far off as he used to be. Now. Those other two chests are mimics, and they're very difficult monsters. They're level 26 mimics, I think. And I fought one and beat it, and I fought the other one. I was just fast forwarding through, and I, I didn't heal in between, and I barely beat the first one. So for now, we're not gonna f fight them. Well, you know what, we might as well. show what it is. Reacts to the Jade! A monster! So here's what Mimics are like in this game. There are a bunch of creepy heads coming out of this thing. Um, and I think our best bet against this guy... Oh, you know what? He's probably a dark monster. We don't have any light spells. But you can see he's casting all sorts of really damaging stuff. So we pretty much have to heal all the frickin' time here. And you know what, if we take one out, we'll go with it, as long as I don't have to use any items. Now here's the problem. That normally kills someone. Like, if that attacks the it kills him. So we're gonna attack Mantra, you're gonna heal just Scion, and you are gonna try to get us some defense up or something. We got your defense up. Not defense up, magic defense up. Which I think... This one. Yeah, that's a barrier of some kind. And hey, it didn't kill him, so that means that it did actually work. So you're gonna keep on attacking, you're gonna keep on 
healing whoever gets hit. And you'll attack too. Although I don't think that healed him for as much damage as he took, so... Yeah, he's gonna slowly die. But, we'll see what we can do. Actually, we should probably have him just heal everyone to get Scion up to top too, so that if he does the big massive attack, uh, no one's gonna die. And see, it was the right timing for that. I wonder. Oh, you're out of stuff, eh? And you're stuck on healing duty now. Sure. Better do a good job and not get killed. Ooh, what a sexy number. Yeah, you know. Do you know what? How many sweet waters do I have? Not enough. I need to save those for the boss. Give that a try real quick. Not worth it, we should have just attacked. Oh well. Now, I was really actually hoping that he would attack anyone but Chur because um, we're gonna need to use Animus here. And since this guy isn't a boss, we don't get the lovely he's turning red and almost dead. Um, animation. Okay, so that's the end of him. Uh, I guess we'll try to bring him back. But you'll see how we're running into a problem. If I had been using items and getting more magic points and stuff, we probably could have won this pretty easy. But instead, we're going to have to go for an all out, hopefully, kill him attack here. Oh, hey! <laughs> that's pretty lucky. So Scion gains a level, Fox gains a level. Cheer, not so much. We got a horn water. Alright, you know what? I can live with this. Um, we'll use one sweet water on Foxy. And she will cast heal on everyone. And do you know what? We're going to save this state because I'm pretty impressed with that. Throw it in six. Pretty impressed with the fact that we survived there, and it gave us a level up, which will be probably useful on the boss. However, we now probably just want to run away for now. Uh-oh. see if we get away. We did. Hmm. Well, Sion seems to have looked over like he knows what happened, but uh, there's no way he could possibly have known what that was. However, it is going to be in our favor here. If we can get to it before we die. Water sparkles inside the jar. All charged up. So, it looks like that's another chance to level up. They seem to throw those right before the bosses, which is very nice of them. Um, we'll just attack through here. We only took one of damage, or one hit of damage. And this Buddha tells me that it is about time for a boss. Still day seven, but we're at level 24 now. I'm Zerfall, we've been playing Treasure Rudra, and next time seems like a boss. Hope to see you then.